Hey everyone, welcome to the garage. We got a fun day today. We are going to Texas All British Car Days, which is the largest British car show in Texas. So hopefully we see some cool stuff. So you guys can see here, I was fortunate enough to have my wife with me and going to the show, which is fun, because I usually go to these things by myself, but we got a sitter, and so it turned out to be a fun four or five hours. Uh, while we're headed there, I will tell you a little bit about what Texas All British Car Days is. The show that's held annually in Round Rock, Texas, uh, which is just outside of Austin, Texas, and there are people who drive from all over Texas to be in this show. Uh, I know one gentleman that I spoke with drove from San Angelo, which I believe is about three and a half hours, and he drove his car the whole way here, uh, which was which is just awesome. So we got to meet a lot of really great people there. The show is put on by the Hill Country Triumph Club, which I'm a member of, of course, being that I own a Triumph, and they did a really awesome job. So definitely kudos to those guys for all the hard work they put into organizing this event and putting it on. It turned out absolutely awesome. Uh, there were cars there from you know pretty much every British make and model. We had Jaguars, Aston Martins, uh, Triumphs, MGs, Austin Healy's, you know, pretty much any British moniker that you can think of was there. And so I'll show you a little bit of the footage that I got from those. We got to the show around 11 a.m. and like I said, there was a really good turnout. Uh, we got placed in the GT class, so you can see there's another GT6 here, some MGB GTs, some MGC GTs, and then you can kind of see where all the other groups in the parking lot were. We had some, like I said, uh, Aston Martins and everything else like that. One car that I can never get enough of, of course, is the Austin Minis or Mini Coopers. And there were a lot of amazing ones at this show, like this, um, I believe it was a Mini Traveler. I'm not 100% sure the differences between the Austins and the Minis, I'll be honest, but this thing was gorgeous and they had done a lot of really nice work to it. So yeah, judging by the license plate there, you can see it's a 66, but... Uh, this is definitely one of the coolest Mini Coopers there, and you can tell they put a lot of love in it. That mini truck is also absolutely beautiful, named B. Um, I'm not sure what year that is, if it's a 69 or what, but you don't see many of those either. This Jaguar XK40, I believe, won Best in Show, and it was definitely deserving. An absolutely beautiful car that's a lot bigger in person than it looks in pictures. Unsurprisingly, there were also a lot of Triumph cars here. Uh, everything from, you know, TR7s, TR6s, TR3s, Spitfires, you name it. Pretty much every Triumph car was here, or at least a lot of them anyway. A lot of really nice ones on display of pretty much all years. This one was one of my favorite ones, though, and this car is absolutely gorgeous. It's a TR4, but it's got a Honda S2000 engine and transmission in it. Uh, I was able to talk to the owner a little bit later, and yeah, really nice guy and absolutely gorgeous car. And this TR3, beautiful as well. This car was in my class. It's a 72 MGB GT. And I really like these as well. This one was owned by a guy who's pretty local to me named Kevin. Uh, really nice guy and a really pretty car. He's been working on it for years. I guess he's owned it for a really long time. Uh, he actually made that his daily driver for quite a while. Here's another Mini, and this one's actually for sale. You can see the number there on the screen if you're interested in contacting him. Uh, this one was cool because it was imported, I believe, in the 90s, uh, and it was then swapped to a 63, I believe, or 67 uh, to get it imported. But it's been completely restored, galvanized, subframes and everything, so definitely a cool car as well. I think he's asking around 15000 on the other side of the parking lot, we had a few more really cool cars. This is a 63 Rover uh, P5 Mark II. You can see there on the sign with the hand crank sticking out the front, which is pretty hilarious. Uh, a really big car. I was surprised by how big these are, but also really cool. And yeah, giant bus steering wheel in there. Um, we had another MGB GT over here. 
And then the Super B, which was absolutely gorgeous. You could tell they put a ton of time and money into this car. The paint was flawless. Everything was just really, really well done on here. And a very, very pretty car. I believe it has listed on the sign down there what motor they had. I think it's a 302 Cobra or something like that. Uh, but yeah, beautiful car. Well, we're back from the car show. It was oppressively hot, but it was also an awesome show. Uh, we got to see some beautiful cars, make some new friends. Definitely want to give a shout out to the people who put on Texas All British Car Days. They did a great job, um, and the Hill Country Triumph Club for facilitating it as well. Uh, cool thing, we won first, uh, yeah, first in class for a GT car. So that was really neat. Uh, first trophy for the car since it got assembled, and I'm super excited about that. So we'll definitely be going to more car shows, and we hope to see you guys there.